You know, I never liked my childhood. I was fat. I was ugly. Well, I, at least I think I was. I was usually alone. I had little friends. And I had low self-esteem. Basically, zero perception of self-worth. And all this made me an easy target for bullying. My classmates gave me names. Fat pig, fat ass, stupid, idiot, stinko, well, you name it, they've got it. And the names came in various languages because Singapore is a multicultural society. But things don't stop there. I had got pages tore off from my textbooks and people pulling my chair away when I was about to sit. No one stood up for me. No one. My friends acted blur when they saw me getting bullied. Well, probably they are protecting themselves, but they didn't stood up for me. And I didn't know what to do. I had no one to turn to, not even home, because of some family issues back then. I felt lonely. I had suicidal thoughts at the age of 10, and it went on till I was about 16. But I was lucky. I didn't opt for the shortcut in life. And because I survived, I saw the birth of my boy about two months back. But now, I am worried about him because bullying had taken a new form on the virtual world. We are seeing younger crowd in Singapore using the internet and worrying issues are creeping up very fast. According to Infocom Development Authority of Singapore, in 2012, more than 90% of children aged 7 to 14 and teens from 15 to 24 have access to computers and uses the internet. Not only that, the same group of children aged 7 to 14, an astonishing 43% uses the internet to access social media sites. And likewise for the teens, the numbers are amazing. Such numbers prove that we are moving very fast and furious towards the colourful world of technologies. But are we ready for this technology tsunami? In 2012, Microsoft commissioned a study and found that Singapore has the second highest rate of online bullying as compared to the rest of the world. Amazing, isn't it? Because this is a small island with such a big finding. And if the number looks dated, now touch cyber wellness a Singapore non-profitable organisation supported by the government did another study this year in 2014. Now, their study shown that one in three secondary school students had been bullied online, while one in four admitted to bullying their peers through social networks. Now, I'm not sure if you remember this case. Kin, a 16-year-old girl, fell to a death on December 2010. According to the report, this was probably the first reported case of cyberbullying death in Singapore. In fact, while I was researching online, uh, there's so many news around the globe on death resulting from cyberbullying. So back on Kin's news, apparently her ex-boyfriend slimed her with unfounded accusation claiming that she's a loose woman on her Facebook wall. And all this because she refused to patch back after they broke up. Now, although she had confided to her aunt, her psychological damage was beyond coherent. And the next moment, she left a death note and plunged to her death. You may not be able to relate to the news, but I feel her personally 
because I had thoughts about writing suicide notes when I was going through my dark days. So let us take a step back and think. Now, what if this girl is your friend? What if this girl is your sibling, your brother, your sister, you know? What if this girl is your child? And what if you are her? I know you are probably thinking right now that no, this probably wouldn't have happened to me and my loved ones, no? But I'm telling you, life is never a bed of roses and you never know what will happen to you next. So let's prepare ourselves and think what can you do to help. Now first of all, all of us have to recognize that cyberbullying is a problem and we need to see we see a need to stop it. While Singapore passes the bill on Harassment Act to include the online sphere on 3rd of March this year 2014, we have to keep in mind that the law itself may be a little too late to help when things happen, not because the damage is done. And whatever fines and penalties dealt on the inflictor does not heal the pain on the victim. So whether or not you are the victim, we need to set things right. We need to spot the signs of the victim and offer help. We need to stand up and speak up against cyberbullies. Although education is key, sadly Singapore's education structure does not include a comprehensive digital literacy program unlike Australia who has a detailed ICT curriculum in their education system. So while the education structure in Singapore is obviously a laggard on this aspect, we need to proactively teach our children, our nieces, our nephews, not basically our young ones, on how they can protect themselves and what are the things that they should do and should not do online. Sometimes even we ourselves unintentionally fall into this trap of clicking too fast on impulse on our Facebook, Instagram or Twitter and end up posting something online that attacks somebody else. Now sometimes you don't even know who is this person that you were shaming online and you thought that uh, you are only sharing information about somebody else because your friend and your friend's friend shared it online too. The thing is, we often judge too fast. Especially judging can be done behind the screen, behind the keyboard. So take five before you hit the send button. Put yourself in the person's shoes and think, do you really know the whole story? Not very often, not. You and I are humans, and humans are born to judge. And because words kill, we need to be mindful that what we read off online does bring about certain extent of impact on another person. While we take effort to educate the young ones, we as their role models need to keep our own actions in check. Don't be too quick with your judgement. I know it's tough, but always think twice before you comment or share anything online because sometimes some things are better left unspoken. Not everybody is as lucky as I am because I am a survivor. So I hope that from today, you can join me and stand up against cyberbullying. Now put a shout out in your Facebook, Instagram or Twitter to show your support against cyberbullying. Pledge yourself to this movement. I'm Eric. Together, 
we can stop cyberbullying. Together, we can make a difference. Thank you for watching.